hey guys here's step two of building your own website we'll start by going to reclaimhosting dot com and you will go to the client area login and here you'll put in your credentials that you used when you signed up for your website your domain in this case i'll use my password manager to put it in for me now we're looking at the client area we won't stay here very long you're going to come up here to the c panel or control panel and choose that this is the control panel and what we want to do is to go to wordpress it should be right here below but if for some reason you can't find it you can come up to the toolbar here and just choose WordPress. Once you're here, what you are going to do is click on install this application. Now you'll be given a number of fields to fill out. So the first thing is you want to choose where this goes. Now you will probably only have one choice here because as opposed to me, you will only have one website, uh, one domain. You might have a choice between putting the W's in front of it or not. In this case, I like to work without the W's, they're just extra characters to type, so I will uh, choose to put this at briancroxel.com. And this is important, make sure you erase blog from here, otherwise WordPress will be installed not at briancroxel.com, but at briancroxel.com slash blog, and you don't actually want that. So go ahead and come down here, under version, don't change any of these settings, these are good the way they are. Now these settings, you're going to want to, you can leave everything here the way it is, but I generally like to change my username for logging into the site to just my own name. And then there's a password here. You can see what it is. It's randomly generated. And so you can replace this with anything you want, or you can just generate a new one, which I'll do right now. So you can't log into my site instead of me. And your email should be probably set for you by your account. Then you've got a chance to name your website and give it a tagline. These can be changed later, so it's not a big deal if you don't do anything, but we'll just change this to Brian's amazing website at the moment. Don't need to do anything else here. And so I'll go ahead and click install. And it will start processing and eventually we will get a website. I'll go ahead and speed this up through the magic of technology. And there it is. My website is done being installed. I can click on briancroxel.com and you can see that I've got a website here. There's not much here at the moment, but here it is. And in fact, you can see the title, Brian's Amazing Website is right up here. When you need to log into your website, you can come to Reclaim Hosting to your control panel and you can click right on this link the WP admin or WordPress admin. If I click on that, it will take me to the dashboard. I could also simply go to briancroxel.com slash WP hyphen admin, and then it would log me in. The password is not your password for reclaim hosting. It's the password you created for the website, but you can always just come to reclaim hosting and log in from here. The last thing I want you to do for this step is to set the time zone for your website. So from the dashboard, go to settings and then general. Once here, there is a time zone selector. You can scroll up to find Denver or you can just type, start typing D-E-N and Denver will just come up. Go ahead and select Denver, scroll down, hit save changes. And now your time zone is set correctly. If I wanted to change the name of my website, it's right here. So maybe it's better than amazing, better than amazing website. I can go down, save the changes. And if I reload this site, now the, the title has changed. And that's it. Step two is done. You have installed WordPress.